So medications for vertigo. I know I wish that I could just take some kind of pill, fix the problem, and not have to put in a whole lot of work to, to get it resolved. Something would do it for me. Um, and with vertigo, that's not necessarily the case. There's no real quick fix. There's no real pill for vertigo. Um, there are some medications that may help depending on what you're experiencing, what's causing your dizziness. But, you know, if you're experiencing BPPV, um, a lot of times what's prescribed is meclizine. So a, a common um, story that I hear from my patients is that, you know, they went to the emergency department, they did all these tests and scans, CT scans, MRIs, whatever it might be. Um, everything was negative, and so they were diagnosed with vertigo and then sent home, home with a diagnosis, uh, sorry, not a diagnosis, but a prescription for meclizine. Um, and this isn't a, really a fix. Um, it's just something that uh, is going, may help with symptoms. But in fact, most of my patients uh, tell me that it doesn't really do anything. It just makes them feel tired. And so um, meclizine, I'd say, is probably the most, one of the most frequently prescribed medications for vertigo. Uh, what it does is it, is it suppresses your central nervous system so that you're, you're not experiencing that dizziness as much as you um, probably would without it. Um, but again, a lot of people say it doesn't really change the dizziness sensation. Some people say it helps. Some people say it doesn't. If it works for you, that's great. But I would suggest that you don't take it unless you need it. So some people are taking it every day uh, to prevent dizziness, and it's not going to do that. Uh, what you want to do is you want to take it as needed if it does help for you. If it's not helping, don't take it. Um, because what we're trying to focus on in, in vestibular physical therapy is allowing your brain to change. Uh, we want that neuroplasticity. We want to train your brain to adapt to um, you know, this new, new normal. And so when you have that meclizine that you're taking, it's suppressing your central nervous system. It's going to prolong your ability to adapt back to normal. It's going to prolong your ability to allow your brain to, to change, and it's going to slow down your recovery. Um, now, with that said, if you need it to get through the day, by all means, go ahead. Um, but if you don't, don't take it. Um, now, for, for BPPV, there's no there's no pill for it to fix the problem. It'll help with some of the, the symptoms or experiencing um, that, that dizziness. Um, but those little crystals are loose in the inner ear. You gotta move them around the canal and put them back where they're supposed to go. Um, so there's no pill that's gonna fix that problem as of yet, 2023. You never know what's gonna come out in the future, but so far, um, and I don't really see any other, any other resolution for that, um, besides going through the maneuver to fix it for that specific canal. If you need help with that, you can check out my Vertigo Kickstart mini course where I take you through uh, how to figure out which canal those little crystals are displaced in and what the best maneuver is for each canal. Um, but yeah, that's the best way to do it. And it's a really quick fix. So you go through these little maneuvers. You do have to go through experiencing your dizziness, but it's temporary. It goes away. Usually it lasts only 15, 20 seconds of that dizziness. So if you take some deep breaths, try to relax, you can get through it. Some people with really high anxiety uh, need to take some anti-anxiety medication before going through the maneuver. Or um, if you are very prone to motion sickness or vomiting with the dizziness, then take some anti-nausea medication before going through the maneuver. Um, but yeah, use that little maneuver to get rid of the vertigo. 90% of the time it's fixed in the first, first visit, you know? So um, it, it's really effective. Um, now, if you have a condition like vestibular neuritis, the inflammation of the nerve in the inner ear, um, you know, within the first couple days of onset, um, they do uh, have, have seen that steroids can help reduce inflammation and reduce um, the um, side effects that you may be experiencing or the, the prolonged effects from that vestibular neur neuritis. So in that case, if you are experiencing vestibular neuritis, I would suggest go see an ENT that specializes in vestibular disorders. Um, and talk to them about uh, what the, the best course of uh, treatment may be for that. 
once you're past the acute phase with that vestibular neuritis, vestibular physical therapy is going to be your best bet with trying to get your brain to adapt back to normal. Um, that getting those reflexes between the inner ear and the eyes functioning appropriately, restoring your balance, reducing your dizziness. But um, you know, some steroids sometimes can help in the beginning. Um, again, talk to an ENT that specializes in vestibular therapy um, for that medication if it's appropriate. Um, now, other conditions that may benefit from medications if the, your anxiety is really high and um, it's contributing to making your dizziness worse, then anti-anxiety medication may help be helpful. Uh, again, talk to your physician about that. Um, and then migraines. There are several different medications for migraines, or many different mi medications for migraines. Um, there's medications that are uh, what they call like a board of medications that you can take to right when you're having a migraine attack to help kind of quell the migraine that you're experiencing. And then there's um, medications that you take more consistently to help prevent them as well. Um, and that's something that you kind of have to work through with a neurologist on uh, what the, if you're appropriate for medications for migraines, what the best medication is for you because is some people respond really well to one, some people not so much to others, and you kind of have to figure out that with your, with your neurologist um, whoever's, or whoever's managing your migraines. Uh, and it, it can be a little you know, tricky um, to kind of figure out and take some time as well. Um, so, you know, those are the conditions that can help, can be helped with medications. Um, you know, there's other, um, vestibular disorders or, um, disorders that cause dizziness that may benefit from medication as well. But whether or not you, um, are experiencing a type of, uh, of dizziness or the cause of dizziness, um, would benefit from medications, you're still going to probably want to do vestibular physical therapy to help restore all those other symptoms that you're experiencing. So the imbalance, the dizziness with quick head turns, if that's your problem, um, you know, the um, visual motion sensitivity, if that's your issue. So whatever else you may be experiencing, you're going to have to go through exercises to help your brain adapt and get back to normal. Um, you, it's brain retraining. That's what you got to do in order to restore your, your function or restore, uh, you know, what you used to feel like, what you want to do is get back to normal. You're gonna have to do exercise to get there. You're gonna have to put in the work. Um, and you know, there isn't a medication that is going to fix any of these problems. It's going to help. Uh, they, some of them can help, uh, but there's no kind of magic pill, um, so far. Um, hopefully they, they find something in the future. Um, but yeah, so I hope this was helpful for you. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Um, if you're not sure what's causing your dizziness, you can grab my free ebook on the five most common causes of vertigo and what to do for them down below, um, or on my about page. So thank you for watching.